everybody. How you doing today? We are going to put the Neobot Q11 through the pickup test. It's where I put down exactly 7.6 ounces of debris consisting of white rice, fruity pebbles, fruit loops, some sand, and a little bit, a few jelly beans. Sand and a few jelly beans. I've done this test now to over 10 robots and at the end of this video I'll show you a list of how the other robots did and we'll compare it to this guy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mess real quick. 7.6 ounces is quite a bit of debris and it's evenly spread throughout this room with six different carpet types and floors. All right, I also have an overhead shot, which we'll switch to in just a little bit. And you'll be able to see this guy clean and I'll speed it up so you're not watching it do the entire cleaning run. If you guys are new, please do me a massive favor, smash that like button, consider subscribing. I do videos like this all the time. I have a whole bunch more vacuums coming. I still have a back pile of vacuums to test. As you can see, I got vacuums all over my house. And if you like robot vacuums, I think this is the channel for you to join. So anyways, let's go ahead and send this guy out. I run it on its highest suction mode. I weigh the bin before the cleaning job, and then I weigh the bin after, and we see how well it cleans. So, it's on maximum suck. You can see, and we're gonna tell it to start cleaning. So far, I really like a lot of things about this robot. Um, I will be putting it through the gauntlet, which is a obstacle avoidance test that'll be next. And we'll see how well it does with that. This is supposed to be one of the best obstacle avoidance robots out on the market right now. It should be able to detect shoelaces and small things like charging cables that many people leave out. So hopefully this guy does a great job. And we're going to switch to the overhead view in just a second. I do have one slight concern with this test with this robot, and I'll explain to you that at the end of this video, if it happens to be truly a concern, which I do think it will be. Enjoy this video, and I will be back when it's done.
All right, everybody, the Q11 is done with the pickup test. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it did. Definitely see a little bit of debris here and there, and I think I know why, and I'll explain it to you in just a second. This is my concern. Quite a bit. Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops. Just kinda, kinda more than any other robot has left, unfortunately. Big pile of rice right there. Quite a bit of rice on here as well. Not the greatest jab on the hard surface either. There's quite a bit of rice. But once again, I'll show you why in a second. And a lot of rice over here on the tile. All right, so here is my concern with this guy. And I had a feeling it would leave a decent amount of debris. And that is because Recharging. The dirt bin on this guy is very, very small because they opted for a water tank and a dirt bin in one. This bin is removed. See if I can re even remove this without debris falling out. Yeah, see, this was my concern. And as you can see, the dirt bin is completely packed. That's why when it went over all this stuff, especially over on the tile, couldn't pick up anymore. So is that necessarily bad for everyday cleaning? Probably not. But for this particular test, it was my main concern. And the other concern is, and my other concern is because the bin is so small and it doesn't have a dirt bin sensor because Roomba has that patented, so it does not know when the bin is full to tell it to go back and empty itself. It does have a setting in the app to tell it to clean, empty itself every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 90 minutes. But in my opinion, they need to let you set that to however long you personally want it to go and self-empty. Like for instance, for this precise test, I would have said probably five or 10 minutes. Then it would have emptied and then came back out and finished the job probably quite well. So, so far I really like this robot. This is the only downside I have noticed this was even in some testing I did upstairs. The bin is just very, very small. And if you, especially if you have dogs, I think this thing will fill up really quickly. I'll show you the size of the bin after we weigh it. And then we'll talk more about the bin here in just a second. So let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, so the bin empty weighed 12.6 ounces. After it cleaned, it weighs one pound. 2.1 ounces, so say 18.1 ounces. So with that being said, this guy picked up, so yeah, not, not a great job. Unfortunately, picked up 5.5 ounces of the 7.6, and that kind of puts it kind of towards the bottom mark as far as the other robots. And I'll try when I edit this, I'll make you guys a list and show you how the other robots did in this exact test. All right, let's get back to the dirt bin. Personally, this is just me. I think they made a mistake by making this into a two-in-one. Especially with the size of the water tank. This is a huge water tank in this guy. And so the dirt bin, as you can see, is very small. So once again, you're not gonna have 7.6 ounces of the debris, probably ever, if you use this guy quite often. But for this particular test, it definitely affected the overall cleaning job. And personally, I don't care about a mopping robot. If I'm gonna buy a mopping robot, I'm gonna buy one that's a dedicated, just a mopping robot. Like the Narwhal or the iLife ShineBot. This bin is restored. Charging. But I do really like overall, I mean, there's actually quite a bit that came out just for me pulling this thing out. That was all that was stuck in the rollers. So when I pulled this out, it all fell out from the roller. So as you can see, this thing was jam packed and that's because of the tiny dirt bin and the fact that it doesn't know when it's full to go empty. That's one reason why Roombas are just so great for the ones that have the self empty bin. I really wish other robots could find a way to, to kind of 
go all around the sensor, like having it timed where you can have it go empty every five, 10 minutes, or it has some sort of other sensor that when it feels like there's a decreased suction because the bin is so full that it could be like, okay, the bin's full, let's go back and empty. So if other robot manufacturers can figure out a way to get past iRobot's patent, then that's gonna be a big step in the right direction. But so far, I definitely like this guy. I do recommend it for everyday cleaning. All right guys, well that's the pickup test. Next up's gonna be the gauntlet. We'll see how well this front obstacle avoidance system actually works. I think it's gonna be one of the best, but that's why we do these tests. You don't know until you do it. If you want to see any other tests with this guy, please let me know down in the comments. Like this video and consider subscribing. And also have an awesome day. I'll see you guys soon.